the Business Today Tech Today Congress. How often do you see women in saris among a crowd of suits? I have one more, one of the most powerful women here with me. Thank you so much, Mr. Gavadran, for joining us. Thank you so much for having me here today. Like I was saying, beautiful sari first. Of all. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> also, it's such a delight to see it in a sea of suits. <laughs> so, thank you for bringing that change as well. I'm thank sure you. there are many women who look up to you, uh, and that is exactly one of what I want to ask about. How is it? decades ago to be that outlier to be a woman in the suits and now today also but back then how, and over the years what are the changes that you've seen what are the changes that you have made sure that happen well i think um, we've come a long way if you ask me right because back in the times when i started off my career journey there were very few women uh, in tech particularly right i mean it was i mean it's still it's still pretty skewed if you ask me the gender parity in the tech industry but it's changing right it's really changing and it's changing for the positive and today if you look around you there are so many role models that we can all look up to our young women who enter the tech space can look up to and i think this is super important because particularly in an area which is kind of predominantly male dominated to have those role models and to look up to them to understand how are their journeys been what is it that that took them to where they are today i think that's that's very important the second thing what i'd say irrespective of the gender right find the things that really bring you the joy because when you are when you follow that joy in what you do and you have enjoy things then you just make sure you bring the best self in whatever you do and that's one thing which i always tell men or women be known for the excellence that you bring forth because then they know hey if you take on something you're going to excel no matter what right and that's why people need to seek you out not because of your gender that's important and coming back to your question on what are we changing right what are we giving back to everybody else out there i think it's the onus is definitely on organizations like us to make sure that we have the right policies the right practices the right initiatives in place to really target for that 50 50 representation in the workforce today at sap we are 34% women in the workforce which is phenomenal and we're making sure that we've set everything right to to get to that 50% and a lot of what we are saying in terms of role modeling having a very strong diverse pipeline making sure that we interject at different faces in in a woman's uh, career path to support her to grow more these are all important points no definitely uh, coming to the recent buzzword which is artificial intelligence yeah. uh, ever ever since we saw the rise of chat the phenomenal rise of chat yeah. gpt and the way it spooked the internet ai is everything and anything that we can talk about uh, we recently did an issue a special issue at in the business today magazine where we highlighted the problems that ai has created and the solutions that it has offered yeah. so what what do you look at it as a friend or a foe in its current phase I'm a technologist it's my friend right there's no doubt about it in fact to the earlier question you asked about women in the workforce and here again right ai has a crucial role to play to i mean we are using it in our core technologies to even in the recruitment phase right where ai can scan through series thousands of uh, profiles that come in and find the best possible match or when somebody is putting out a requisition out there for an uh, for a position to make sure that we eliminate any kind of biases that can prevent a woman from applying for that role again ai to the rescue so if you ask me today with kind of chat gpt and all of those revolutionary technologies coming in i find it so fascinating to see how best we can embrace it but embrace it with also care because many times we we need to be sure that how data is being used right and for an enterprise like us at sap the reason why 99 out, out of the top 100 companies in the world run on sap is because they trust sap which means we as an organization need to take care of the customer data so technology is here i mean we've seen so many different technologies come this is a very uh, a key technology which really is a game changer in terms of how work is being done how our life is being changed so i'd say to everybody embrace it embrace it with care look at how data is being used because those large language models when you train it train it in the right way train it with the right access to the data i think but other than that embrace it and and go with the flow 
friend. Uh, no doubt about that. <laughs> eradicating gender bias something that we've been fighting for centuries exactly because it's really about leveraging technology to scale some of those areas where we really need to scale right sure thank you so much this was a very lovely and an insightful conversation thank, thank you, you so much. much thanks so much and lots of power to you too thank you, <laughs> thank you, so you. Much.